I'm ready. I'm back. I'm sure you guys are ready for another video after a week and some more change. It's been some time. It's been some time. I'm back now, though. But I'm back with a disappointment. But I'm back. Savers. I went to Savers. I was hyped. I got footage. I got footage. I got footage. I was dancing. I was hyped. I was really happy because that's the first time I found the Savers. I went into Savers. This particular day, I wanted to go to the bins. However, it didn't work out. But I went to Savers, though. This was on July 4th. However, I'll show you guys the footage. When I come back, you will understand why I'm very disappointed. Okay. Footage starts now. Go. Savers. The moment when you do your savers dance because you've never been here before. I'm going to save. I'm going to savers. We are at savers. Can't wait to show you guys what I get. Actually, this is my first time coming here. So come along. We're going to see what I get. And the good thing is, I'm going to show you guys in the video. So stay tuned. We are back on YouTube, we back on YouTube, we took a little break, we took a little break. No, seriously guys, seriously, seriously, seriously. We're really back. We're just gonna straight, straight away go ahead and um, cue the intro. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna cue the intro, okay. Cue that intro! My name is Ariel Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a full-time reseller and a reseller of Second Chances. If you guys don't know, this is my fiance. Hey, how you guys doing? Yep. His name is Taekwon. And guys, I sell clothes for Second Chances to give it the chance to live and to breathe again. Let's get straight into the video because this is serious. As you guys saw in the footage that I showed you guys, the prices were horrible. It was straight horrible. If I had to give a uh, overview on savers, I really think that it, it was it was ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, for Victoria's Secret products was like thirteen ninety nine. Yeah. For Nike, it was like sixteen ninety nine. And the good thing the good thing about savers is that um they have like I didn't know like if you donate something you get twenty percent off. But, I mean, I need 50% off for all of them prices because if I'm looking to shop for myself, okay, Victoria's Secret for $11, that's not bad because we know that Victoria's Secret is a bread and butter, but it's still kind of on the expensive side if you go to their store. However, Nike, we know also could be a bread and, a bread and butter in reality, but if we go to their store, we're looking for a tech suit anywhere from 150 to up. The running products is probably like to $60 and yeah. up. However, if I'm reselling and reselling and looking for a flip, I cannot pick up Nike running shorts for $13 and look to resell that at all because honestly, Nike shorts really only go from 20, 15 to $20. So that's not going to help. Victoria's Secret, if it's not a real trendy style, it is not going to sell. If you pick it up for $11.99, the highest you can really sell Victoria's Secret for, if it's not a set, is $25 to $20. Looking to get about $18 to $15 on them. Savers is too priced up. It's ridiculous. I went through all their aisles. I got more frustrated. And I left. Worst thrift I've ever been to. But I'm not going to talk no more, guys. But I thought to myself in, the, in my head, I was like... Are you disappointed? And my head said, Yes, I was. Yeah, that's what it said. So, um, yeah, I got my help here. 
How you guys doing? It was definitely a, a, an experience. Definitely an experience. Um, they got nice stuff, I can tell you that much. But I mean, I had a under, I bought two Under Armour hoodies that was like thirteen ninety nine each. So it was something else. <laughs> it was really something else. But guys, on the bright side, looking back at me, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, y'all want to see the new? This uh, the new backdrop. We have a new backdrop, and it's reseller second chances. The bottom give all my information. I know you guys can see. We're gonna wait. We're gonna work on that. But this is my photo, and it's a step into promoting my reselling business. If you guys like it, give me a comment below. I'll tell you guys how I got it, how I made it. But we're focused on this video, so let's get started now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This was the best find. Nice. This was the best find. I kept the tags on it so you could really see where I'm coming from. Literally, when I checked out, they said I could get 20% off if I donate anything. I got all of these bags of clothes over here to donate. I had nothing with me. So what I did was I bought a, a $1.99 pair of socks, went to pet checkout, went to the donation, got it, got my 20% off because this, this was horrible. And this little bit of stuff still came up to $70. Yeah. Horrible. Okay, let's go. This is $11.99. Literally, that's the price. It's a size large, but hear me well. It's, yes, it's Victoria's Secret is pink, but it's also trendy. So you guys can see why I bought it. It has that cheetah print, which is very much in trend. Yeah. It also followed by the color block. It has the color block gray and pink. And thank you, the hood is like outstanding. Like who wouldn't buy that? I would actually buy this for $11.99. Like price this. this is yeah, it's really cute. Price this for about $35. 40 and hoping that this will flip good the only reason i would price it that high i'll look for like 30 on this and that's still making my profit back that's at least like getting my money back but well doubling my money of course but what i'm gonna say is that i picked this up because i know for sure that this is gonna sell 100 percent. like i always say um for this season cheetah print brown beige neutral colors Pastel colors is very much in trend. If you see it, definitely pick it up. And it's so, lightweight. Yeah, so th this was actually a really good find. And the reason why I picked up sweaters is because, honestly, it's been hot, but it's been raining a lot. A lot of people are still wearing sweaters. So I think that this was actually a very good pickup. And, pick up. guys, just because it's summertime, or I call it summertime because it is hot out here. But even if it's fall or summertime, you want to, or spring, sorry, you want to make sure that you're still shopping in the winter section because that's where you find the good gems. Everybody's going to the summer to find them shorts, them baby suits, active wear. You go to the winter section, you find gems like this that will give you the money. And even if it doesn't sell now, you know, for the winter time, you got all your you racks. You exactly. So this was a good find for sure. I was happy about that. This was four four forty nine. Yep, it was four forty nine each. He convinced me that I should get it, and I did agree with him because yes, I have a great, um, you know, I have a great return selling Victoria's Secret. I don't yeah. complain about this brand. However, I'm very comfortable with picking this up. It's definitely uh, what size is it? It's a uh, medium. Uh, it's a me thank you. It's a medium. And it's oversized. It's like a striped, color-blocked, oversized tee. Right, that one's pink. And, yep. I'm going to hold so that one up. One. Mm -hmm. And we got a, a color-blocked pink and a color-blocked green and blue. This is super cute. It, the, go ahead, babe. Thinking to, like, bundle this. Yep, we're definitely going to bundle this and see what we can get from it. Both of these were four forty nine each. If we bundle this, we're looking to do if um eight and eight we'll probably um bundle it for at least 30 35 dollars okay. and hoping to double our money off of that however though this is so cute and i love the deep v-neck and also the high low bottom is super cute as well i feel like high low is definitely coming back and definitely in trend love the stripes love the color blocks i'm really here for it very trendy so that's super and cute his v and his v-neck oh my <laughs> god he like his v-necks but yeah 
And actually, I think that this can even go for a tunic for how long it is. I think that it can go for a tunic as well. So I'm curious to do research on it and yeah. actually see what it is. Or a long, like, pajama pajama type. Yeah, it could be that too. Seriously, yeah. like, I want to see what it is. Oh, this is... <laughs> you guys see what I'm doing? Huh, huh, huh? Stand on trend? Uh, uh, uh. Could learn something. Stay tuned. That is nice. This is... I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Y'all know how I am. Y'all been watching my channel long enough. Y'all know I'm crazy. It's all right. But this is $3.99. Right? This is $3.99. What is actually new... Help me out. What, what does that say? Sorry. Preserve. 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 That was very hard for me. But that's the brand. If you guys can see it. Also, the reason why I picked this up because I checked comms. This was $3.99. This brand and this particular cheater bag is actually like a um, what do you call it? What? Like a makeup bag or like a makeup kit bag. A uh, kit bag? Yeah, I forget the name for it, but this particular bag is is sold for like thirty or twenty dollars. This was three ninety nine. I'm comfortable with getting at least yeah. fifteen to twenty dollars on it. That's a good flip, not a big deal. And it's no, no damage, and it is cheetah print. You cannot beat that. Like I said, cheetah is very much trendy, and it also has them trend colors animal print use your keywords because that's what will make it sell let me show you guys the pockets always use keywords sell your item because this is what i go by you gotta sell you gotta sell your item you have to describe your item like if there's no picture for the item so you're writing everything down and you want to take pictures of your items yeah. like you can't describe your items if you guys don't know what i mean by that hear me well if I can't take pictures of this item and I only have to describe it, I'm going to describe every detail on this bag. Why? Because I want it to sell. If I could take pictures of this item and it had no description item, then I'm going to take pictures of everything. Exactly. Every detail. Why? Because you want your customers to have everything they need that can possibly make you a sell. Yeah. Absolutely. It's all about networking, guys. It's all about strategy. I'm telling you. But this is so cute. Like, it has the plastic cover. You could tell that it was rarely used, if used at all. It has... Can you hold this up? I'm sorry. It has this inside here. I like, it has, I like how it opens. Yeah, I like how it, it's really big. Yeah, um, it opens on sideways. Than... Yep, and it has this opening right here, and it also got another one right there. So again, three ninety nine, four dollars. This was super cute. I picked it up. I'm looking for honestly, I'm looking for like fifteen on this. It's okay if it sells for fifteen. I'm comfortable with that because that was a good find. Okay, this is a bolo, and I didn't even know that it was a bolo. That's why it's good. What I do with new brands now because like as resellers don't matter how much years you have you still learning something every day yeah. so yeah so what i do is like if i don't know a brand i just put it in my cart if i see that it's good material good enough i feel stuff and if it's good i'll put it in my cart that's what happened with this particular um leggings i know you guys looking at it like what is this this was 549 it is the brand gold sheet However, I looked up this brand. It's definitely a bolo. Comps, one sold for $79. The other one sold for, I think, $50. And they they were like, um, they were like color block leggings. Like, but they 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 didn't have all of this detail that this have. You see, it's got the wine bottle. The wine bottles and everything. Mm -hmm. It says, it says gold, gold sheep. Sheep. Yep. Wine. Yeah. So I think that this is like really cute. And it's a long length. So I think that this is going to sell. And I think that it's going to sell very well. The size on this is a size small. But yeah, this was super cute. Yeah. So I was happy. I was really happy. And it looks like it was never worn. Right. It stretches. And it looks like it's got a good fabric. Like comfortable fabric. So you're not, you know, being uncomfortable while wearing it. You just relax. Look good. You be straight. <laughs> that's it that's the goal right but i'm looking to price those i'll give it around 50 and see what i could do with that okay this was i was real happy about because see it don't got a price tag that's because they had some they had a price tag on it for eight dollars yeah it was pretty and good. i was like you know what put this in my cart and i'm really gonna see if this 
sports bra is eight dollars because that really don't make no sense like i'm trying to resell and i'm not pick, picking up pink for eight dollars i'm sorry i love the brand it sells for me real well but at the end of the day like i tell you guys if you want to scale your business you got to pick your poison that's it this actually wound up being three dollars yes i'm picking up that for three dollars reason why is because i can sell this bra for and it's a graphic bra it's very much in shape it's a graphic bra it has a cross open side on both sides yeah. and it has a cross back as well it's a very good either sports bra definitely sports bra because it got like a the, the band down here remind me of like the army glove, not the army gloves the boxing gloves yeah like the boxes be using they have a the little thing right there and... exactly so this is pink and this is the um is the pink victoria secret ultimate bra and this is a size large and i was happy to get this for three dollars i'm definitely gonna list this for like 25 hoping to get at least 20 to 18 that's still doubling my yeah, money it's not too bad this is so cute and guys what do you realize the color it's a trend the trend color I try to teach you guys what's the trend. See this color? Pick it up. Based off color. It is the trend. Yes, it is. Okay. This is a coach bag. Yes. This is $4.99. However, I picked it up because I know that coach is definitely coming back. Coach is coming back. They are trending now. They're coming out with new items. This particularly... I don't think that this is a new item. However, I did my research and I know that this bag is real. I had two coach bags. Yeah, one was fake. was fake. Yep. And one was real. How do you detect the fake bag? Everybody say, oh, look at the stitch of the bag and look at yeah. the print. No, yeah. that don't always work. How you detect a fake bag is that you look up comps. If the bag is real, this number on the bottom that you see. It should be the same number as the other the, of the other real bags that's on that site. Yeah. Don't let nobody trick you. Just because it has this in the inside does not mean that it's real. It is some great fakes out here. Check the number at the bottom. It starts with an NOJ1193-18756. If this number matches up with, any, with all of the other numbers that you checked on comps that's sold, that is a real bag that's how i know in particular this coach bag was a real bag it also has the coach little hanging thing right there it also has the little keychain holder right it here has the embroidered work uh words right on the, on mm -hmm. the actual bag itself yep it if says it doesn't coach. Have it there. yep if it does not have that there it is fake also you want to open this it has a keyhole front and you open this and that's the inside of the bag and also i'll show you guys the inside of this right here and you open up this bag and it's like a, a little like bag that you carry with you and stuff but i saw some selling for at least 50 dollars, 50 to 60 lowest is 30 yeah. i'm comfortable with this i got this for 4.99 it is a decent bag however the top has a little bit of wear like it's kind of dirty and it has a little bit of wear. So what I have to do, I'm going to give it a good wash. Yeah, I think I'm going to wash it, it and see yeah, what can come off. If it don't, I'm going to sell it as is. I know that it's going to sell because, again, Coach is coming back. Coach is actually real trendy. These are trendy colors. And we're going to see what we can get off of that. So I was very excited about this yeah, and good. the prices. So that was super good. What is this? Oh, you could Go ahead. Oh, all right. What you want me to do it? That's you. So this is what I was talking about, the Under Armour hoodies. First of all, I'm a big silver fan. I like silver. It's my color. Yes. That's a ni it's so a nice sweater, it's though. A nice, it's a nice um, Under Armour sweater. It's a scuba hoodie. It's not like it don't have the full new um, hoodie piece, but it has like a half new hoodie piece. Mm -hmm. where, like It goes up a little bit. It's a yeah. Bit see, the hoodie. neck goes yeah, up, yeah. so that makes it like a scuba hoodie, just if you guys scoop. don't know. Yeah, just like a little scoop. It just means your neck could go in there and not. But this is actually good. But what I was telling you guys before, see, if he's shopping for himself, eleven or thirteen ninety nine. That yeah, that's not bad. But to resell Under Armour for eleven or thirteen ninety nine, I'm not getting it because Under Armour sell for under fifteen dollars. Right. Not getting it. And this is a small. 
It's a small, um, loose, loose type fit. Um, that really is super well. cute, though. But it's real nice. I, I, I love had, it. I had to get it. I, I love it. it. Yeah, that, that's a nice weather. Right here. This is it. That's nice. I like that. But then, since I showed y'all that one, I might as well show y'all the other one. <clears throat> so the other one, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a pink wear. I don't, I don't wear pink like that. But I did get this one. That is Another so Arnold nice. Armor one. But it got like an army green slash pink in. Um, yeah, pink I love the color too. blocks. It has like a floral print kind of right here. Also, another um, cross neck hoodie. This is super cute. This See, is cute. On the yeah. Inside shows the, um, the floral design with the. With yeah, the, that, um, that, is, that is neat. See? That is nice. This I like is, that. It's real nice. It, it fits me, so you know. But I, I've been told I, I look good in pink, but I, I'm not much of a pink person, but I had to get this. I like underarm, so. I think you look good in pink, though. I think so. I think I think pink is a bold color for a man to wear. I would say that for sure. And I think that, you know, they look good in it. I think anybody could wear any color that they want. It is fine. Like, I wear red. I wear blue. I wear black. <laughs> I'm not your typical female, but it is okay because I am me. So that's what I makes wear, me me. I wear purple. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not purple is my favorite color. Can you guys tell? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. All right, guys, we're going to get back to the video because this is serious. In the I'm comments, really upset about this. pink one day. In, in the comments, you guys got to let me know if I look good in the pink. Do that. I look, if I look decent. Yep. And then I'll wear um, red or blue. Red yeah. or blue. I'm not those type of fans, but I'll wear it. Okay. This is $6.99. This is $6.99. And it is a pink Victoria's Secret. The reason why I spent six ninety nine on this because I wouldn't never spend six ninety nine on Victoria's Secret. I only get it from the bins of the Salvation Army, or if it's like a dollar to three dollars. But this was actually very graphic. It was like like bold, like everywhere you saw it's just pink, pink, pink. So I'm like, wow, okay, and it's in great shape, no peeling, no signs of wear. Yeah. Um, it's a big size, which it feels like a big size, either a medium or a large. Where's the size? Oh. Somewhere, right? It's somewhere. No, is it? This, it? Does this have the size? It says a size small, but I'm not thinking that this is a small. Do you think? Well, now that I look at it, 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 might, it, might be a it kind of look like a small now that I look at it. Let me see. Bit. Don't let it be a small. Is it a small? They don't even have the um the size on there. But listen, listen, listen. This is cute. It could be between a small and medium. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But it's really graphic though. So I kind I like this. It was really graphic. Yeah, it was I like nice. that. It was really so six ninety nine. Definitely looking to flip that between no, twenty five dollars. Uh, this is some pants I got for me. Size medium. It's just like some woman legging pants. It was two ninety nine. Yeah, and that was the last thing. So, this is like scratchy. my pants, scratchy, just like, because it keep raining over here, so like, I don't know what to do, but this is the pants, it's free for me, let me see the receipt, what else we got in here, got it. yes I do, I got a receipt for you guys, so you can believe me, all of that stuff was seventy forty eight. Even with the coupon, you see how I went. This is another one, savers and savers. Okay, this is the, let me tell you guys this first. That's the side. Yeah. Now, let me do, do this. This is the socks receipt to prove that I had to get the 20% off. This, I had to buy socks for $2 so that I can go outside. Donate it. Donate it. This is ripped because they ripped us off to get the um 20% off, the 20% off coupon. They had to rip it off to take it, and they gave me this. So on my next purchase, that's um um on my next five dollars purchase, I saved two dollars. But if I ever go back to that store, which I probably won't, but if I ever go back, which is good, I have a couple of bags. I got like one, two, like three bags of donation. donations. I'm going to give one bag at a time so that I could get three 20% off sales. Got to strategize. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, like that. But either way, I'm going to get three 20% off sales. And when I do, 
I'll come back with another haul. But yeah, everything in there was very expensive. So after I got the socks, after I got the coupon, they ripped it off. At least I got $5 I could save. Then comes this long receipt that was still $70-something. $70 something. That is insane. If you Everything. Yes. If you want my final thoughts on savers, don't go unless you have a coupon. Sign up for their emails where they're having a deal day. So everything 50% off or something like that. Then you could go. Or you rich. It, 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 yeah, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. That store is worse than Goodwill. It was not worth it. Um, It was worth the shot, though. Like I like going to new places. I like going to newer stores. I had a fun time. It was July 4th. I would not trade it. I mean, we had a blast. The stuff that we got were pretty good. But... In total of a thrift um adventure, that was not okay. I didn't like it at all. But, guys, the next video for sure is going to be what I got from Goodwill. Because I did do two thrift... Two thrift... um What did I do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I went shopping two times. Twice. Yeah. In the same week. So, I do have a Goodwill video that's coming up. And after that Goodwill video, I do have a Goodwill outlet haul that's going to come up. I'm going to the, to the bins this week so hands up hope that i find some good stuff it is going to be in the new hampshire area i mean new hampshire what i'm talking about the ham mm -hmm. the new england area is going to be in hampton connecticut so guys stay tuned for the next video and we are out yeah. but before we do that we got to say bye, bye.